Mama, I hope you have no plans on releasing Ben. Because with what he did to my wife, I will never forgive him. And I will not forgive you, you for what she did to this family. Hey. <sighs> I never believed that this day will come when Mark will say that we are ganging up against him. When he's married to a toxic woman, what do you expect, mother? I am so disappointed in Mark. So disappointed. But no problem. If he wants to take side with his wife, let him take side with his wife and we will take side with Ben. Because come tomorrow, if Ben is not released, <laughs> a lot of things will go wrong in this house. Because I will mess things up. My dear, hmm. I would have asked you to stop for the hmm. sake of peace. But no, I have noticed that in this life, when you seek for peace too much, your enemies tend to take you as a weakling and they will keep on dashing it up to you until they corner you. You see, this time, peace and love will be kept aside. Why? Because our only crime is that we loved Mark so much. But this time, no, no way, no tata for Nanya, no love, no love again. It's war, 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 war. That is what is going to happen. No problem, mother. No problem. See, if tomorrow <laughs> Mark doesn't release me, oh God, I'm saying this because I am so fucked up. Mama, don't worry. I know what to do to make Mark not have a choice but to release Ben. <laughs> Mark, you will release Ben tomorrow. Anyway, I promise you that. If not, I am my father's daughter. He will. He will. Mark must release my son. You must release my son. You allowed your brother to be arrested by your in-law. When Vivian did what she did, what happened? It was settled by the family. Now it gets to your brother's turn and you allowed the police to take him away? Mark, I don't understand you. Why do you allow your mother-in-law to get too involved in your family issues? Your mother, your sister, your brother. They try their best not to get involved in your family issues. But it is obvious you allowed your mother-in-law to move into your house and even move into your bedroom. And she does everything the way she pleases. What is going on? Huh? No, 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 no. Tell me, what is your problem? Do you want to lose everything, including your sanity? Chris, I... I don't really have time for you, but for what you're actually saying. The only thing in my head right now is my wife, Vivian. And as I'm talking to you, I want to go meet her in the hospital. And you see that my brother, Ben... He's going to rot in that in that cell that he is. I need to protect my wife from him. If your wife needs protection, then she should stop putting her hands in war. Yes. Look, first thing tomorrow morning, your brother should be out of that place. If your brother had hit your wife without provocation, then I will understand where you're coming from. Look, if by morning your brother is not here, I will not be held responsible for what happened in your family. If you're tired of staying in that house, pack your things and leave the house with your wife. Go and get an apartment somewhere else and live together. And let me see if you guys will be happy. What are you doing? You see Ben, get him released. If, if, if I release Ben, Vivian is going to be angry with me. Then I see that you don't have plans of living long. Yes, I said it. Look, if you're still bothered about what Vivian says or what she thinks or what she does, then I think you're not matured enough. And if you know you're not matured enough, then don't go into that thing called marriage. Because marriage is not for children. So wise up. Grow up. Be a man, not a weakling. I'm leaving, leave my car. Oh, excuse me. Oh, friend is this? Yes. Where are you going to? My presence in this house has caused a lot of problems for you. I have to leave. I don't want Madame to come back and meet me here. I have to leave this house and never return. I hate to see all of you fighting. I feel responsible for this. And I have to leave. Listen, you are not the cause. Listen, you are not the cause of our fight in this house. And you will never be. See, all families, they have their issues. 
Do you understand? Please don't go. This is hanging on me. And I know that your wife will send me out when she returns. I don't want to stay here and let and see that happens. See, she's not gonna send you out, I promise you. Trust me, she won't. I'll make sure of that. But sir, this is supposed to be a happy family. Why are you allowing this to happen? You're letting this family go apart. Look, Uju. I know you're of age. I understand. But you're not married. So you won't really understand these things. See, once a man gets married, he places his wife as the topmost priority. He places her over his family and even his friends. I agree with you, sir. When a man gets married, he does not break ties with his family. He creates time between his wife and his family. And he creates a meeting point. Also, when a woman comes into a home to ruin it, such a woman shouldn't be let to remain in that home. You may not understand the effect of what your wife is doing, but if you continue this way, one day you will end up alone, and you will regret it. You know, this thing you just said now, I'll let it slide. You've said it once, don't you ever say that again to me. My wife is my wife, and she's my topmost priority. I'm sorry, sir, but when she was away, didn't you find peace around you? Didn't you enjoy every bit of your brother and your sister around you? This house was very happy and quiet. When tomorrow comes, release your brother. Because tomorrow your wife might leave you. You can find another wife. But you can never find another mother. Sister, no brother. Ah, welcome home, Ben. Thank you, ah, Helen. Good day, sir. Welcome. Ah, chief. Ah, madam. You're welcome. Thank you. Madam. I can see you've been released. What I want you to do is go upstairs, pack your tent, and get the hell out of my house. Are you mad? Did you smoke something overnight? What is wrong with you, Mark? Have you suddenly become foolish? You want him to leave the house? Why should he leave the house? Why won't he leave, chief? Why won't he leave? See what he did to my wife. He my hand do that. Ben must leave this house, Chief. I am trying so hard to be calm. I'm trying so hard to hold myself. But I can see you are pushing your luck too far. Vivian beat up Uju. She had no right whatsoever to do that. Every man has his limit and she pushed me to my limit. That's why I did what I did to her. Chief, I am very sorry for what I did to Vivian. I mean, she did, I, I shouldn't have done that. But she caused it. She messed up big time. And I will not take it. This house belongs to me, it belongs to my mother, and it belongs to my sister equally. What? Yes. The house used to belong to Mark until he decided to be stupid. To be like an idiot. And, 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 and started messing around. So now, I'm not going to take that anymore. As I am back, I am going to set some laid down rules and regulations that everyone must go by. Vivian has no right in this house. So if she misbehaves, I am going to throw her out of this house. I am not missing words. You are stupid, you are foolish and you are an idiot. What did you say? I said you are foolish, you are stupid and you are an idiot. If you are, cannot stay in this house with my wife, I cannot respect her. Back and leave this house. Let me see you throw him out. Let me see you try. Mark, this is our house. You hear me? It's our house. We've shown you the love and respect we have to show you as a member of this family. But if you don't respect us as your family, then you and your wife should get out of our house. I have toiled in this house. I have put in my sweat, my blood, and my tears into this house. If you think you can just wake up one morning and, and say I should live with my wife, you people are dreaming, you people are jokers, because we're not going anywhere. You have toiled in this house. And so have I. So have my mother. So has my sister. We have all toiled in this house. 
If you're tired of staying in this house, you're tired of doing the right in this house, then you have to leave. In short, what do you think you have spent in this house? What do you think you have told? Listen, you, I have told, I have told. What have you done for the house? What is it? Tell me, how much is it? I will pay you back. Then let's now see whether you can pay what all of us have told them and sweated in this house. Enough! Enough, all of you! I see that angers are up and everyone is angry and agitated. But do not allow this little thing tear your family apart. Mark, you alongside your mother are the head of this family. Do not tear it apart because you want to defend my daughter. Don't do it! Chief, I am not defending your daughter. I am defending my wife. Ever since she came into this house, she has been asking me to stand by her that my people, they want to kill her. But no! I refuse. I didn't stand by her. But Chief, you see this one? You see this one? <laughs> I am going to stand by my wife. And if they don't like it, Chief, even if it means Ben leaving this house, Ben must leave this house. Ben must leave me and my wife in this house. Come and throw me out. I would like to see you throw me out of the house. <laughs> no, throw me out. I can see that this house is becoming too hot for both of us to be in, right? One of us have to leave. And trust me, that one person is not me. You will leave this house for me. Mark, you will leave this house for me. Bet it. I'm telling you. Let me see you now. I'm not missing what I mean every word of what I said. We are not going to be here in this house together. And I will not be the one to leave. Rubbish. Mark, Mark, Mark. I never knew a day would come when you place such conditions over we, your family. I'm so disappointed in you. But I guess everybody knows their stance now. <laughs> we are our own and you are your own. Mama, let's go. This is my house. Ain't that you prove it? Or you get out! 